please subscribe. A far cry from the Skittles colored sports sedans of the 1990s, the new 2018 Audi S4 is more serious about its looks and its mission. The four-door performance sedan now better occupies a space between luxury and high performance with a seamless blend of both. The S4 is available in premium plus and prestige trims. The S4 earned a 7.4 on our overall scale, which is very good for a new car. Its performance and standard features are impressive and it keeps pace with similar offerings from BMW and Mercedes-Benz. The Audi S4 has been given a thorough once over like the related, mostly, two-door S5. Unlike the S5, the S4 only comes in one smartly styled shape. Like the A4 before it, the S4 is sharpened from the last generation, with a lower nose and raised headlights, and sharper creases along the sides. The hood's shunt lines are hidden by a deeply pressed crease in the body panels and helps the S4 achieve a more serious look. Standard LED headlights help frame the car's arrival, wispy, but pronounced, boomerang lights look better than their S5 counterparts. Along the sides, the S4 gets a deeper crease in the body that doesn't read big under showroom lights, but is on the road. With just a bright disc in the sky projecting one source of light overhead, aka the sun, the S4's body line casts a bigger shadow along the profile that allays are concerned that Audi stylists were lazy, or, perhaps lazier. The S4's interior is subdued, with the same hewn approach as the outside. Deep comfortable buckets are accented by diamond quilting patterns, the door inserts are shot with Alcantara on red contrast stitching. The instrument panel and center console are streamlined with available carbon fiber inlays. Spending more on an S4 gets more interior features but regardless of trim, the S4 is powered by a new turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 that produces 354 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. The single twin scroll turbocharger is planted between the cylinder banks to feed both sides, but will feed one bank first to reduce turbo lag. In our testing, we found that it works, the S4 never feels out of breath. It rockets the S4 up to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds, which is quicker than the BMW 340i and Mercedes AMG C43. The new Turbo V6 benefits from Audi's long history with forced induction. Turbo lag has been quelled to hardly register with the driver's right foot, most of the available to work comes on at 1350 revolutions per minute, and the acceleration is brisk and drama free. The S4 is all automatic this time around. An 8-speed automatic, related to the gearbox found in the RS7, is the only partner available for the Turbo 6. Although it rips off confident shifts, paddle shifting the 8-speed isn't especially precise or quick, the transmission will automatically shift at redline, manual mode or not. Regardless of selected drive mode, the S4 is eager to upshift to save fuel, unless you're deep into the throttle. Like previous generations, the S4 comes with standard all-wheel drive, which Audi calls Quattro. The 4060 front to rear to work split is performance focused and keeps the car in shape while cornering. Grip isn't easily given up, and when it does, the S4 will politely chide drivers back into shape. No wild slides here. Four wheel independent suspension is standard, and a revised five link setup up front has been cast out of more lightweight aluminum to reduce unsprung mass. Adaptive dampers are available on the S4 for the first time and drop the ride height by nearly an inch. Setting the dampers from comfort to dynamics stiffens the car, but we'd stop short of calling the S4 stiff. Each ride select setting, comfort, dynamic, auto, and individual, is closer to comfort than outright performance. It's clear the S4 is meant to be a better all-rounder this time around. A newly available sport rear differential, the first time it's been offered on the S4 and the second generation unit from Audi, shifts power side to side on the rear wheels, in addition to front to back duty that's handled by the standard center differential. 
The rear differential makes the S4 a competent performer on the track, but it's also bundled with the sports steering setup that we'd like to tame. Although the dynamic ratio clearly quickens with more speed, its feeling through the wheel is somewhat unpredictable. Dial in the steering, and the S4 is eager to keep things comfort first with a slow ratio, but the performance ledge approaches quickly and the end result can leave the sedan feeling a little too darty. We don't think many drivers will notice unless that exuberance bites back, but we just like a little more progressiveness in the variable ratio. The S4 earns a slight edge over the mechanically related S5 due to slightly better packaging and a better driving position. The S4 is a true five-seater, six-footers can sit behind other six-footers, and the addition of two doors made for better entry and exit into the second row. Up front, comfortable sport buckets are complemented by standard seat massagers and are widely adjustable. In back, the two outboard positions don't have the same bolstering as front seat riders, but are comfortable. Riding hump in the S4 may be a dicey proposition depending on how aggressive the driver is, be sure to call shotgun first. The S4 features standard 60-40 split folding rear seats that help the trunk's standard 13 cubic feet of cargo capacity. Ride quality in the S4 falls closer to comfort than performance, which are backs appreciated after a long day behind the wheel. Audi doesn't pipe in many engine sounds, and the rumble from quad-tip exhausts outback is fairly muted too. The S4 doesn't scream sports sedan, which may help explain part of its appeal. Like the S5, it's hardly likely that the S4 will ever be subjected to official crash tests. In the absence of data, we can draw from the related A4, which was named a top safety pick by the US. The S4 comes equipped with Presense City Advanced Safety, a standard equipment that was rated as superior by the US. Blind spot monitors, parking sensors, and a surround view camera system are optional extras, but thankfully a rear view camera is standard. The rest of the S4's standard feature list is impressive too. All versions of the S4 get sport buckets with a diamond quilted pattern, front seat massagers, automatic climate control, Bluetooth connectivity, 18-inch wheels with summer 245-40 summer tires, LED headlights, leather seating with Alcantara inserts on the doors, a 7.0-inch driver information screen and a 7.0-inch infotainment screen is standard with Audi's MMI interface. A word about MMI, it runs Audi's native infotainment system very well with its click wheel. Plug in a smartphone and prepare to run iOS or Android with chopsticks. It's frustrating and hard to use. We wish Audi would offer a touchscreen by now, but we can't have nice things. Among the S4's options list, we have our faves. The rear sport differential and adaptive suspension for $2,500? Check technology package that transforms the S4's interior with virtual cockpit that includes a 12.3-inch driver information cluster and an upgraded 8.3-inch infotainment screen? Check. Navara blue paint for $575? Check again. Pinching pennies? Skip the $1,150 sport steering, too finicky. $500 warm weather package, heated seats are standard and the heated steering wheel doesn't have a flat bottom, and bigger wheels. At $51,875 to start for a premium plus model the S4 isn't exactly budget car buying. We get that. But after riding in a $54,000 ish A4 loaded to the gills, and a test fully optioned S4 at just over $59,000 we felt like the latter felt like a $60,000 car, the former seemed like a stretch. If you're looking for fuel efficient driving, the S4 will hardly satisfy. The EPA rates the S4 at 21 miles per gallon city, 30 highway, 24 combined.